We all have them. You have them. I have them. Your grandma have them. The things we know we should do, but we just don't get around to. But you know what? This week we will get around to. Because we are going to take action this week. We are going to do three things that we have been pushing forward for a while now. We go around thinking about them throughout the day. We know we should do them. They drain us from energy because it makes us feel bad because we don't do them. And yet we spend a lot of energy thinking about them. And that's why we are going to do three things this week that we know we should do. Whether it's a big thing or a small thing, that's up to you. Meeting an old friend of yours, cleaning out a wardrobe, starting a new training regime. I don't know. I know what I'm going to do, but I don't know what you're going to do. But I do know you should take action this week. Plan it out today, what you're going to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, five days. Three things are going to happen. It could be small things. It could be starting a project. Schedule 30 minutes to plan out a project I've been wanting to do. And just a tip along the road, break it down to actionable items. So many times we just have this title of start training. That's all we have to go on. But it's way too vague. You don't know what you're going to train. You don't know how. You don't know where. It's just too many things. But if the first thing on your Google training centers in my neighborhood, that's something you know you could do. That's like a two minute item. I can go into Google and do that straight away. So sit down and think about what it is that is the first action to do. And if it's cleaning out your wardrobe, maybe you need garbage bags before you can do that because you have to throw so much stuff away. I don't know. I'm just saying break it down. What's the first actionable thing you need to do? And then it's so much easier to start because then it's just a small little task. That is the weekly challenge. I know it's super simple yet super hard, but I have faith in you. However, before you decide on doing these things, make sure you actually answer the question for why you are doing these things. If you're supposed to I don't know, start a, a new training exercise program. Why are you doing it? Is it because your mother is forcing you? Maybe you decided to do one of these things a long time ago. And maybe your life and context and goals looked a whole different back then. Maybe things have changed, but that same old task or action you should do has just come along the journey just by being there, just because you decided to do it so long ago. But maybe it isn't relevant for you anymore. I don't know. I'm just saying make sure to get clarity for the reasons for why you're going to do this. Maybe you shouldn't be doing this. And then you know that. Then it can set you free. But if you're supposed to do it and you answer the why, it will get you that proper motivation. So take at least to take at least three minutes to sit down, answer the question for why you should do this. And that is this week's challenge. That is all we're going to do. So, so the objectives are do three things this week we know we should do. For me, that means I'm going to meet up with an old friend. Hopefully I haven't managed to book this yet. I have been dragging this out for so long. Secondly, I'm going to do a 24 hour fast. Because it is something I've been wanting to do for a while now. But I just haven't got around to do it yet. And thirdly, well, that one I'm going to leave open. And that is it. That is this week's challenge. I wish you the best of luck. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. So we can develop ourselves further together. Three objectives. Do them. Make them happen. Take action. See you in the week vlog. Bye guys.